Hello guys, I'm just gonna share the origin of, well, I already did, but let's review Minecraft the world. We will milk this game as long as we can. We've said that before. You're doing a great yeah, job, thanks, Joe. Yeah, thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who wants to see this more? I feel like all you guys at home want to see this more. Oh, oh. 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 Wait, did you not go fast enough? Some of socks. <laughs> also, skips don't yeah. count as deaths. In my heart, I don't know if they do. Don't cut your controller three. Okay, All right, Joe, put it down. I, my hands are off the controller. I'm, I'm ready for the game to play itself. I really like don't touch your controller, three. <laughs> I don't know why the three is so good. Yes, you're doing it, Joe. Oh, oh no, oh no, I fell. Oh God. Oh. oh, you saved it. Nice, nice clutch. Okay, so you press left and right to drive the Koopa car. Okay, I'm not gonna press either. All right, it's just driving itself. Man. Ooh, you almost made that jump. You got it that time. Good job. Ooh, and Ooh. there goes the car. Yes, that was clutching me. I, I thought I was gonna die there. Yeah, you almost did not grab the key there. That Ooh. would have been what we call a bad. Okay, this is good movement for me so far. I always forget you can make a slope conveyor belt. Oh, I didn't realize that. And now we play the waiting game. All right, I'm gonna be patient and trust the level designer. Yeah, woohoo! Mario! Yeah, who wants to see more of this content? Just let us know. Okay, to be fair, if it was just auto levels, this would not be a good series. Yeah. We get a fair amount of not auto levels. We get some really bad levels, which I like are fun. how they had a path there for you to walk and through it. <laughs> you know what happened was they realized that they had that. They, like, they realized they did it wrong. Yeah. After they cleared the level, and they're yeah, like, they're no, it's like, too long. It. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like, I'm not going to waste another 50 seconds of my life. I'll let somebody else waste it. Yeah, exactly. You just got to deal with it. Woo! 50! That was our 50th level. Double digits. We got it. Holy, we are in double digits. Yeah, we are. Nice. Kirby, the great cave offensive. I love Kirby. I love All Kirby. Right. What does that say? I, this is the first time I've seen comments on a level in a long time. Yeah, you don't see a lot of them. You know what? One thing I do miss is... So. In Mario Maker 1, you could scan amiibo. Yeah. And you could be whatever that amiibo was. And they all had, like, different victory sounds whenever you clear the flag. Yeah. And they were sick. And everyone's like, why did they remove that? And, uh, real talk? I don't fucking know. My guess is they're just waiting to put it back in as DLC. Yeah. Dude, Smash Ooh. Ultimate didn't have a stage builder. That's been a staple since Brawl. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yeah, and then they just said, uh, we'll, we'll just put that shit in later. And that they did, yeah. thankfully. I fucking yeah. love Stage Builder. Yeah, Stage Builder's sick. Like, the Stage Builder was a mistake series, some of the most fun things, because you don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Yeah. I still love the read that I got on uh, that Zero Suit, like the Zero Suit Surprise or whatever. Oh yeah, when it just revealed her breastuses. Yeah, I, I had that read whenever we were looking through those levels. Like, I knew it was somehow gonna turn into a new level. I, I like how you knew that. You just had that feel. Yeah. I, I can tap into the mind of level creators pretty well. When do you think well. Cheap Cheap is going to get his own spin-off game? When do I think that? Mm hmm I think probably by 2022. Okay. It'll be like the Switch next or whatever console Nintendo makes next. Can we just, like, try to make that campaign happen? Uh, cheap Cheap for the Switch U? Yeah. Eh, no. Yeah. I mean, we have to have some supporters in this, right? Right. So Cheap Cheap is somebody's favorite character. Jesus. You have to recognize that. Yeah. Like. Yeah, you're right. Like. There's that's... someone who's popping off that's like, Woo, we got Joe and Alpha on our side. <laughs> fight the good fight, brothers. <laughs> the, the Cheap Cheap Discord is just popping off right <laughs> now. <laughs> like, God, Timmy. Timmy. We're on Joe. We're on Alpha Red Plus. We're making it. I'm glad you just got hit there. I didn't like how Fire Luigi looked. Yeah, it doesn't look that good. Mm -mm. I thought this is what Luigi, See, Fire okay. Luigi looked like. I thought that too, but yeah. I guess we're just stupid. They, they could have changed. Just that's the flagpole, Joe. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I got tunnel vision. I just saw the door. Yeah, it's just that just looks like a green line. It's just one pixel spread out. So I don't blame you. Like, I saw the pipe. I saw the red thing. I was like, I'll just see what's behind the door first. Who knows, man? I don't know if that's supposed to be a trick or if they just messed up the level design. What's your, what's your pick? 
I'm a student athlete. You're a student athlete. You know? Okay. The grind never stops. <laughs> Philippians 413. Grind right, never fellas. stops. <laughs> Buy that shirt. Beep, 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 right now. Oh, no. <laughs> the grind never stops. Philippians 413. Is that the shirt? <laughs> yeah, sure. God damn it. <laughs> Do you want to talk about our idea? What idea? Oh, wait. Okay. Before we get that, I want to talk about another idea we've had. Um, and then I have to bring it home. How's it the checkpoint? Soft. So, oh, that's why, Joe. See, you can you can die. Oh. I just wanted to see. You just want to see if the checkpoint works. I just wanted to see. Could what be was a up fake there. checkpoint. You never know. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, student athlete. Joe and I recently added student athlete to our bios on Twitter. And I encourage all of you to do it, just because... Wait, did I add mine? Yeah, you did. I, I forgot it. I did that. <laughs> I did today until someone pointed out. They're like, I just realized you... <laughs> nice. Great level, dog. They're like, I just realized you have student athlete in your bio. Why? And I just respond, grind never quit. <laughs> grind never quit? Yeah. <laughs> if anybody <laughs> needs to try and justify it, you just say grind never quit. Not never quits. <laughs> no, it's no, no. Never I... quit. Grind never quit. Grind never quit. So, well, shout out to all my student athletes out there. Which, what, what sport? Just athlete? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of have a redundant bio because I have three-time video game champion in my bio, which also doesn't specify the game. And then student athlete he, all, honestly accomplishes the exact same thing, but like in an IRL. <laughs> Like, only the nerds are impressed by three-time video game champ, and now all my normie friends are like, Hell yeah, I'm a student athlete, bro. Dude, there's people that are still happy about being a student athlete all these years after college. Do you think? How? What's the oldest you can be and still have student athlete nearby? I feel like it's just when you graduate college, you take it out. You but, say that. Yeah. You, you, you say that. But there are some sad people in the world. Like... And I wouldn't say a lot of nerds are always like, yeah, well, the jocks, blah, 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 but we'll be the ones ruling the world. It's like, nerds can still be losers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just because you play video games doesn't mean you still won't be a loser. Like, jocks can turn out to be losers. Jocks can. Mm -hmm. um, more often than not, they end up having something go right in their life. Yeah, that's usually what happens, though. That's yeah. the thing. That's really, it's kind of morbid, but it's kind of funny, too. Like, yeah. uh, if you want an honest depiction of life after high school, watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, because the assholes still end up doing well. Which sounds morbid. But it's kind of true. Yeah. I don't know if more of it's the right word. It just feels fucked. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you watch you watch Full House growing up. It's like, oh, man, maybe maybe the bullies do end up learning their lesson. You know? No, they don't. They, they just get bigger. Yeah. Or just tried for a bigger crime. It's usually one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it goes one of two ways. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Tried for a bigger crime. Yeah, I knew I knew a guy who uh, he was a cool guy in high school. He was kind of a jock, and he got arrested for serial murder. Oh my god! That actually wasn't true at all. I just made that up. Oh okay. I did not give you any details. Uh, I just thought like, yeah, that could happen. <laughs> you you should have just kept it going, man. Yeah. Um, what's the most fucked up thing someone you knew growing up did? A fucked up thing? Yeah. Um. Well, the only thing that comes to my mind is my friends almost set my truck on fire once. Nice. Okay. Yeah, they were trying to light a tennis ball on fire. As you do. Yeah. Well, okay. We had this game that we played called Fireball. <laughs> wow. That was a level. <laughs> Five seconds. That might be world record. All right. Go but, on. Yeah. So they were trying to use the cigarette lighter in my car. Yes. <laughs> it's a good level. But so they... Try to use a cigarette lighter in my car to light a tennis ball on fire, which is not how that works at all. Yeah. Those exclusively light cigarettes and small pieces of paper. But they just kept the lighter in for like 15, 20 minutes. And I was playing Call of Duty like in my friend's backyard at the time. And I came back to them just saying, oh, hey, Joe, by the way, your truck's on fire right now. And literally there was just smoke coming out of the entire cab. Which, wait, wait, what, what do I do? Uh, oh, Monty Mole. Yeah, he has a key, probably. I die. Yes. Take a clutch box. How about go on? But I know that's pretty much the story. Like, and that's pretty much the level. Yeah. You solved the puzzle, Joe. I, it's just, I know I'm supposed to get a feel joy whenever I finish these levels. Like, it's just so funny. It, I'm supposed to get a shot of dopamine. 
I do I like some of the levels that are like so short, but like you kind of cheese it and you feel satisfaction when you cheese it. Yeah, those ones it's just like, oh, yeah, but, that's really all you had, buddy. But with that Goomba level where you just held forward, there was no possible way to cheese that because there was no obstacle. Right. I, I hate Goombuds. They just look like they don't deserve to live. Oh, okay. No, they can live just fine. They just look like they don't want oh, to. Oh, no, I'm not disagreeing. That all oh, wasn't that like what you said. Mm -hmm. Why did I? You okay, bud? These levels are causing me to lose my sanity more than the area levels did. Because at least I understood what you were trying to go for in your levels. <laughs> these are just like, I can just make these jumps. Okay, like, look, I'm just going to jump. No! <laughs> <laughs> I had no way of knowing that I was actually there. No, I had no idea that's where the level ended. But, like, you see what I'm saying, though, right? Just hold forward. Just hold forward. Yep. You got this. I don't think you need to waste time on these at all. I think you can just make the jump by just running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just run, jump. Yep. <laughs> that was optimized. I don't think that anyone will beat that record. That's the thing. Oh, you said that. Now someone's going to fucking beat you by frames. Please have fun beating this by like two <laughs> frames, kid. I don't care. <laughs> Get the sub 12 100. Tweet it at me. Add Joe Sniffy. Go ahead, dog. Nice. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Uh, what happened? I think the risk. Okay. I think this is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. All right. Let me hear it. <clears throat> so I was dropping my friend Matt off. He lives on a huge hill. So, um, and then my friend Mav, short, short for Maverick, it's Matt and Mav. It's always confusing. He's a really funny guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's fucking hilarious. Nice. Clear, by the way. Thank you. But so I dropped Matt off at his house and then he goes in and he just left my back seat of my fucking car and didn't close the door. <laughs> and then we just start taking off. So I, you're driving off your back door still open. What do you do? You try. You either like slam on the brakes that way. Like it'll shut. Exactly. Yeah. That's what some people do. Some people park and get out of the car. I guess. Yeah. If you're you know how I said Matt lives on a hill. Yeah. Um, I put my car in neutral, jumped out, ran around in front of my car to the other side of my car, closed the door, ran back around and then sat in my car and just put in drive. And Mav just sat there and goes, Jacob, what the fuck? Because you have to realize he was just there for all of that, witnessed it. Also, I see your face. You look very surprised. I don't know how I did that, but I'm sorry. I was listening to your story. I just somehow caught a box in midair and just died for it. Nice. Because the box just happened to be on my ground. Spin actually makes you fall faster. It does? Over okay. time. Okay. I did not know that. I yeah. thought I was just going to do the flip thing. The uh, Oh, twirl? Yeah, the twirl. Yeah. Okay, just... so hey, don't fucking put your car in yeah, neutral okay. down a hill. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I, I want to go back to that because I'm still not done with that. It's it's one of those things like whenever I did it, I, I thought it would be funny. So I did it in the moment. And then like I'm, I was fucking 16 at the time. I didn't understand how dangerous that actually was. Yeah. It could have run over me. I could have put a car in neutral. I, I could have run behind the car, but I fucking ran in front of it. I could have... Look, if it ran over me, Maverick was just fucking stuck in the car. Oh, my God. I never, I, it didn't click that Maverick was in the car. Yeah. And there was a house at the bottom of that hill. You put and, it in neutral on purpose, right? Just to be funny? Yeah. Did you see that level? I blinked, but yes. <laughs> I guess I could say, do you see that level? <laughs> I see all of it. <laughs> what was that called? Uh, sure was. Ooh, level 60. It feels like we just beat level 50. Yeah. I'm just saying, what other Let's Play channel covers this many Mario Maker levels in one episode? Yeah, none. And Okay, I, I just want to go back to your... You're still not done with it? Why, man? Like, I, I kept being 16 with us. I don't fucking know. <gasps> I'll be honest. It's just like something came over me, and I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just do this. There was no thought process behind me doing that whatsoever. I realized I needed the P-Switch, and I just didn't care about turning around at right, that point. Sure. I'm being... Okay. No, I mean, I believe you. It's yeah. just like, who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. See, I'm trying to... I want to think of what the dumbest thing I've ever done. Is. Like, That's definitely the dumbest thing I've done. Uh, my dad set down my mom's house on fire. What? Yeah. So, I always describe my dad's like childhood dynamic 
as he was the Fresh Prince. And his best friend, whose name was John, he was like the DJ Jazzy Jeff. Okay. And then my dad's little brother, Chance. Yeah, he was Carlton. They bullied the fuck out of his little brother. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it, it's like, if you see my dad and then like my uncle, it's just like, you know, my dad's successful and he's doing well. And then like my uncle's like balding and he's younger than my dad who has a full head of hair. You, you know, it's just like his whole life. <laughs> It goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, my dad was a fucking Chad. He didn't do shit in college. He literally went to frat parties and then got my mom pregnant, and I'm here I am. <laughs> it's not even a joke. I know it's not. It's just a reality. But, um, cool guy. <laughs> but I'm sure, like, I am positive some people see my dad and they're like, how the fuck is he successful? Who, like, went to college with him or something? Yeah. See... That's what sucks, is like, I know that I'm gonna have those thoughts here in like a couple years. Yeah. Like, there was definitely some guy who went to my high school who, I think I told the story at some point in time, I don't know when, but he tried to fight me because um, he was dating this girl who I've been like childhood friends with, and he, um, l let me tackle this lightly. Okay. So my other friend who I had a math class with, who I've also known forever, but from two different medians. Yeah. Um, she said, oh, I went over so-and-so's house and we got drunk and had sex. I don't remember it, but oh, well, because like, I, I don't really feel like I, you know, it feels weird to say like rape culture was like normalized. Yeah. But it's like people weren't weren't really aware that was rape at that point. In yeah. Time, they you just know? thought, oh, they had sex. Yeah. yeah. They're like, haha, whatever. So anyways, I was like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. And then, like, halfway through the conversation, I was like, oh, wait a second. I, oh, my God. I was like, oh, I think he has a girlfriend. She was like, oh, that sucks. So then uh, she goes, ask her real quick. So I texted her. And I was like, hey, are you and so-and-so still dating? And she goes, yep. I go, oh, fuck. And she goes, why? And I was like, ah, oh, shit. So the other girl maybe put on a three-way call with the two of them. And I was just here like, oh, what's up? Yeah, anyway, so-and-so then found out where I worked, staked outside my work, and tried to fight me in my job's parking lot. Because you exposed where he was at? Or the, you exposed him for cheating? Yeah, and, you know. Yeah. I, I'm the reason he, not cheated, the reason he got caught. Yeah. Yeah. Well, was that a bro thing of me to do? No. Who okay, cares, so. though? But, yeah, like, come <laughs> on, I wasn't friends with him. Yeah. Um... Wow, you just avoided everything. Yeah, I think he forgot to put locks on the doors. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, don't forget to lock your doors, kids. Yeah. Otherwise, people who you tell cheated on their girlfriends might kill you. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, he tried to fight me, and I like... Dude, I stat-checked him, IRL. You did? Yeah, like, I speech-checked him. He was trying... He swung at me, and I'm not, I'm not a fighter. Yeah. So I just took one hell of a step back. I was like, whoa, buddy. But also the context for this, I was sitting in my car, and then he yelled at me to get out of the car. And I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could have just fucking drove off. But I was like, yeah, he probably wants to have a civil discussion. No. Yeah? No, he did not. Oh, nice. But uh, anyway, so... He then uh, just came in and tried to swing at me. I stepped back, and then I was like, huh, you shouldn't do that. And he was like, I'm going to kick your ass. And I was like, yeah, but I'm just going to tell your girlfriend you kicked my ass, and she's not going to like that. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. And then he was just like, looked so pissed <laughs> off at me because he knew I was right. And then he was like, all right, well, I'm going to let you off this time. What the fuck? I'm not fired. I quit. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very. You can't tell me I dump you. Yeah. Yeah. So then he. Uh, um. Oh, what, what was the rest of the story? Yeah, he just kind of told me he's like, if, if you ever do this again, you know what I'm gonna do. If you ever, if you ever do yeah, this yeah, again, yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> and I was like, kick my ass, like, and he goes, <laughs> yep. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and. uh for being someone who's not a fighter, I had a lot of balls in that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in similar situations where, like, your fight or flight's just going, and so you just, yeah. you open your mouth and you know you shouldn't. Dude, but the speech check worked. Yeah. 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 So, like, I got out of it. 
If he hears us now, he's probably going to find and kick my ass again. But I think he's doing well, so good for him. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> they always do. Please don't kick my ass. <laughs> uh, I can sue your ass for it now. I got money, bitch. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like that's, that's a nice part about <laughs> being middle class and white. You yeah. can sue their asses now. Hell yeah. Also, I just realized the sound program updated and now it looks weird. Yeah, it does. I don't, we, we use Audacity for our recordings. A lot of professional people use uh, Audition, but nah, who cares? Nah. Get the job done. Um, Joe, I feel like I... Oh, you, you run out of time, bud. Oof. This is hard. I hope this isn't a... hope one of these has a uh, thing in it. Yeah. Um, speaking of money, you want to... Oh, yeah, you use... Not this run. Not the run. Dang it. You know what? G give it to me. I got quick platforming like this. All right, I got you. Here you go, dog. I'm, I'm going to get this world record. But I want to talk about real quick, not to flex, which is how you always, that's how that, you That's how you start you any flex. flex. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's wild how many YouTubers try and act like they don't make any money at all. Yeah. Bro, you've been in YouTube for how long and you're making more than your bank job? Yeah. 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 Granted, like, my bank job didn't pay a lot anyways, but it's still, like... But the thing yeah. is, people would say the bank job is a real job. I compared to what you said do that. Now. Yeah. Here, here's the controller back. I think so. But no, that's the craziest thing, because, like, people find it more respectable for me to work, like, four hours every other day at PacSun than to do something I love and make more money at my own hours. It's so whack. Well, it's because you're working in video games. Oh, it's YouTube. That's stupid. Yeah. Only stupid internet people. We should go get real jobs that pay us $7 an hour. That's what I'm saying, and brother. You're... That's the American will. You know, I'm just going to call this level out and say I don't need to hit that. Um, I... Yeah, you might just be right. I think I might be wrong. Let's go get those one-ups. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good call. Yeah, nice. Nice. Uh, there's a good chance you're just right. We're coming up on the end. We gotta. I don't like that they just didn't put, like, a pit here. If they wanted everyone to go high. Oh, my God. Yep. I'm good at Mario Maker easy levels. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You got the read. I, I can tap into their minds. Why is this so fucking fun to us? I know why it's fun to me. Because I'm finishing levels, and I'm yeah. feeling good about myself. It's just, I don't know, as a fellow level creator myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's really funny. Watch. I like doing like experts, super experts, seeing what, where other people's minds go. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I can use that. But like, it's always here. It's always like, look, they don't even like finish flooring. There's like, oh, this is the ground required. And it's just like spikes, star. You could have just jumped over that. Well, we're getting world record on that. Okay. Understandable. It's the very least, I'm just... Another terrible stage. At least Dylan recognizes it. Yeah, Dylan... You know what? It's not a Australia. bad stage. He, he's from Australia, I think, you know. Yeah, or Germany. We have had so many good levels, and this isn't the worst. Yeah. Yeah, so not another terrible stage. You know, you, you did good, Dylan. Don't don't demean yourself just yet. Yeah. Oh, that's world record, baby. Ooh. Ooh. That was Ooh. crisp world record. Definitely looked like one of your better world records, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that was one of my more optimized ones. Yeah. Like, there's probably, like, a couple of small strats I could do to save some frames, but... Joe, sure, I really fucking wonder how far does this series go? How far does the rabbit hole go? Yeah. Uh-oh. I think you hold forward. I mean, okay, here's the thing. If the Simpsons are still milking the Simpsons, what's stopping us? Yeah, like, this is a Mario Maker channel now. Deal with it. Like... Because now, we had to... With, like, previous Alpha Red Plus episodes, we have to spend hours thinking on, like, what game are we going to play today? And then we hope that the computer works long enough for us to play it. Yeah, and then sometimes we just, like, oh, it's going to perform poorly, so we don't. Like, it's just, it's hard. It's hard, but if we're just a Mario Maker channel, I can do this shit forever. Yeah. We don't even have to create the levels now. We don't run out of content. We don't run out of game to Mario play. Mario Maker! Mario Maker is, it's so nice. Yeah, I think the other thing with all of it is just, uh, well, people always say, I want a Joe and Alpha podcast. I don't get why people say that. Like, That's what, what a fucking is. Let's Play is. It's like, like, 
All Let's Plays are are podcasts with something you like on screen. <laughs> That's it. If, if you if we just hit the game audio, oh my god! I, I, I tried to rage quit out. I saw. If we had just game no game audio and just uploaded this, this is almost a podcast. Yeah. Like I think podcasts have like a little bit more of like topics. We just kind of shoot yeah. the shit. They definitely have structure. Oh, global! Oh, rank. we're top hundred thousand. Oh shit! Oh my <laughs> oh, god! It just got real. This is the road to number one. That's where this ends. <laughs> That's where this oh ends. Oh my god! <laughs> road to number one. Oh shit! This is uh, this is wild. Okay. Um, congrats on top one hundred thousand, buddy. Dude, I'm so good. <laughs> hey, you know what? Here's the thing. Yeah. Hundreds of millions of other people would have died there or sooner. Dude, only the top 100,000 have made it this think far. About, in the entire world, only less than 100,000 people <laughs> have gotten to where you are right now. Dude, that means like we got to constantly do this because other people, people will fill that spot. The thing is, all it takes is for all, like, our viewers to just, just a few of them dick around one night and just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna hold my Switch and just, I'm gonna take a shit every night this week and just bring my Switch while I do it. And you'll probably get further than us. Why? What? Why is this top 100,000? No, Joe, they're saying you are ranked top 100,000. Yeah, I know. I don't get why. Because oh, uh, cause, because of that play right there, actually. That's yeah, a good that, play. that was it. That's a top hundred thousand play. That was definitely was. <laughs> Joe, you should add your Twitter bio top, top hundred thousand, oh, and I... don't specify what. <laughs> if, if I can, he fit pulled that out in his there. phone. All right, give me the controller while you do that. All right. Oh, I might have to take some stuff out. <laughs> your bio has a lot of bullshit in it, dude. I've had like five memes. Like, Godfather of Ian's Future Children. What is that? That's been it ever since I knew you. That has been my bio since I got Twitter back in, like, 2013. Yo, top 97,000 now. Dude, update it. Update your bio right now. Escape GameStop is this title. Top 97,000. Perfect. Fit in there. But yeah, no, it's literally... I don't remember the origin of it. All I know is that my friend Ian said that I could be Godfather of his kids. I was like, fucking bet, bitch. You're never forgetting. And so I made it my bio. And that was back in 2013. Did you see that shit? That was... <laughs> Did you see me escape yep. GameStop really well? You, you escaped the shit out of GameStop. <laughs> you stole everything from GameStop. God. If I didn't fumble around, that would have been it. Someone else decided to get that, too. Yeah. They definitely saw it and said, I can get this. Oh, damn, we didn't even comment on the 69th level. We were too busy focused on the top 100,000. That's how you know that was That's how monumental. <laughs> Joe, I'll... we broke through top 100K on the 69th level. That's, that's poetic. Like, <laughs> that's some Charles Dickens type shit. Wow. Also, speaking of Charles Dickens, I'm looking at this pillow I have in my hands. It says Sasuke Uchiha. Oh Doesn't my god, swears. I forgot to give it to you. You found it. It was on the floor in the living room. Oh, well, yeah. I was going to give it to you. Thanks, man. You got your pillow. That's... I'm so happy about it. Can't believe Teespring tried to censor us. I can't believe that somebody tried to steal our idea, too. Yo! Yo, let's talk about that! Yeah, okay, so... You know, like, people always make, like, bootleg Eagles won the Super Bowl merch and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So go on. Oh, okay. You. Yeah, someone just tweeted a picture of a, or somebody tweeted a link at me and Jacob and just said, Hey, is this you guys? And I clicked on it. It was the same shirt as us. Sasuke Almost. Uchiha. A little, little blurrier. A little blurrier. But it said the same thing, but it was $22. Yeah. Ours went for $12. Yeah. Theirs was $22. It and nearly doubled the price. Stole our shit that we stole. Yeah, okay. Like, I'm actually really offended they stole our shit. Yeah, like I've never seen you this worked up over something. Honestly, like okay, we steal something as a meme, funny. We aren't charging for a profit. We just think it's funny. Yeah, we didn't make a profit off of it because Teespring made us. However, this motherfucker decided, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll give him some more money off of this and upcharge all of you people, the good people, the, the good fans, plus. the people, the Alpharad Plus Nation, the Alpharad Plus heads. Out yeah, there. the plus heads. Oh, you're losing world record, buddy. 
But yeah, no, so I just replied to the person, hell no, that's not. Because, like, it was like, can we, even re we can't report them for stealing ours. We had to report them for stealing the Sasuke I couldn't IP. figure out how to report the site either. Dude, I had world record. Look at that. Yeah, you, you choked at the end on the springs. Mm, 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 mm. Also, Jake has been playing for, like, the last three levels. Oh, uh, yeah, I took, I, I said I took control ever, ever yeah. since you changed your bio. Dude, top 93k. Dude, we're going to get in there. Like, this, this is a bop to the top right here. Plinko. So Dylan's in the other room, and I feel like Dylan is, like, so tired of her bullshit. Because it's just, like, stupid bits to him. Yeah. But I feel like this would just be the one where he just wouldn't even get... He's like, why are you doing Endless Easy? And I'm just like, you know. <laughs> I think it's genius. I, yeah. It's like, you guys waste so much time doing hard... Okay. They do hard fan levels. Where people are trying to get tricked and uh, mm -hmm. people are going for funny haha, you got Kaizo at the last second. Yeah, they. We're going for bottom of the barrel. On the stream they did when they played fan levels, someone submitted a code that said FWAB stink. <laughs> <laughs> they boomed him. They got him good. <laughs> FWAB stink. Yeah. I saw Clint type in Jabated on his stream. He did that on Mario Maker 1, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Clint Stevens, man. He never changes. I fucking love Clint. Clint Stevens is definitely probably my favorite streamer. He, he's easily my favorite streamer. I, I think the thing that sold me over on Clint Stevens, um, and he's actually like a homie of mine now, so that's badass how that happened. But what happened when I like first said, you know what? I like this guy. He uploaded, a, you know, just on stream, someone was like, oh, Clint, you should tell this story again. And he goes, what the fuck is that story? And then someone explained it, and he goes, oh, I never did that. Probably just lied. And then I was like, respect. <laughs> respect. Anyways, the other day, Clint also tried to play one of my newer levels, Momentum Mountain. You haven't played it yet, Joe. I have not. I think it's my sickest one. But Clint's been like two hours on that shit, man. And the thing is, was it an easy level? No. But definitely, the things he did get stuck on was what confused me. Yeah, you were sending me the screenshots. Yeah, it's just there was you're supposed to jump through one tiny little block and it was a damage boost check and he just kept trying to throw builder. <laughs> it's shocking, isn't it? Wow. You, all right. It just takes you out. You know, like when a bullshit like troll level just hits you with a thwomp and you're like, what the fuck? I died. That's how that feels. Yeah. No, you know? I know. I completely know. Yeah. Huh. Top 90k, road to number one, baby. Top 90k. <laughs> God, I gotta take a breather for this. Hold the fuck up. Hey, sorry, you called? Oh, yeah, um, I'm at work right now, though, uh, I'll have to call you back later. I was making sure, like, everyone's okay. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye-bye.